Well, today I want to show you how to run a supervised raster classification in RGIS 9.2. I actually don't know how easy it is to do this in uh, RGIS 10. Probably it is. Uh, I haven't tested yet. But anyways, uh, still, I think still is worth to show you how, how to do this in, a, in, a, in this previous version of RGIS. So here we have these uh, images that we want to classify, let's say, in three different uh, habitats. So it's going to be very simple. So uh, water is going to be category number one. And category number two is going to be um, forest. And the rest of the habitat is going to be urban areas like roads and, uh, and houses, buildings. So... Um, First thing we need is a, 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 a safe file of points, a, lo a set of locations telling uh, what every habitat type is. So I, I have already done this by editing the points, or actually the best way will be to, uh, to collect data from the field with a GPS, so you make sure that uh, that you know very well the, the the habitat type in the ground but in this case uh, from the air is actually easy to to distinguish what every color is in, in this image so i have just created a, a another save file of points and actually 10 points of each habitat class if we go to the attribute table, we can see that uh, we have uh, 10 different points for each habitat class. So I have created another row uh, that uh, classifies habitat in 10 different points belonging to the three different categories. One for a forest, two for, uh, oh sorry, one for water, two for forest, and three for urban areas, yes? And the next thing uh, we do once this is created is in the R toolbox multivariate, uh, we click on create uh, signatures, and we're going to associate the um, the satellite image we can just drag it as a input raster band to our uh, sample data which is our habitat save file and remember that the habitat category was the field habitat and this is going to create a, a signature file remember where is where it is located okay in your computer okay and just press ok obviously is doing it at the moment obviously you put if you put more points you're going to obtain a, a better accurate uh, final raster but i just want to show you how to do it now no need to be perfect right completed okay and now that uh, the signature is created we just go to maximum likelihood classification input our raster band which is the satellite image input the signature file that we just uh, have created which is in um, let me find it. Maps in Thailand. There it is. Let's keep everything by default and let's click OK. And let's see what happens. Okay, it's pretty good actually. Uh, 